Hi, this is Josh with PCAntivirusReviews.com. Today we're going to be taking a quick look at the user interface for Kaspersky Internet Security 2012. We'll be looking at the main overview screen. Uh, we'll show you how to set up a manual scan, how to set up a scheduled scan, and check out the Kaspersky updates. We'll also do a quick test of Kaspersky's antivirus protection to see how well it handles threats. So let's get started. This is the main overview screen. It has all the major components and features that you'll need to access at some point. You can scroll through them using these arrows. There's also some settings and reports options you can check up here. This little guy is the is unique to Kaspersky. Uh, it's just a little desktop item that, that sits on your desk. So for instance, if I closed Kaspersky, this would still stay there and you can access various features through this little thing. Uh, if you don't want it there you can simply simply click to close it and then let's just open up Kaspersky right back so we can use it. So let's go ahead and do a manual scan. Just click scan and then you can either select a full scan, a vulnerability scan which will scan your applications for vulnerabilities you can scan just critical areas. Uh, that's going to be the same as a quick scan. So let's go ahead and do that for our purposes today. You can also uh, drag and drop any item or folder or file that you may be suspicious of. You can drag it right in here and it'll scan automatically, which is unique to Kaspersky as well. It's kind of handy. So let's go ahead and run a critical area scan, which is the same as a quick scan. and it's just doing a quick little scan and I'm gonna pause the video and we'll be right back when that's finished. Okay, the quick scan that Kaspersky ran is all already finished. Uh, it only took uh, less than two minutes uh, keeping in mind that, that just scanned critical areas and it found no threats and let's take a look see if this gives us some more details. Uh, so the, these aren't really necessary, but if you want to look at them, you can. It just is showing uh, what it scanned and how it scanned it, so we don't really need to worry about that. Let's take a look at how to set up a scheduled scan. Uh, just go to Settings, and click this little search icon. Then you want to click Full Scan. Then you can either click Settings or Run Mode. Either one will go to the same place. We'll just click Settings and you can see right now it's automatically selected to be a manual scan um, so let's click by schedule we want the frequency to be every seven days you can also set it to hours minutes uh, every month whatever you want it's pretty flexible you want to set your scheduled scan to go at a time that you're not going to be using your computer that way you won't uh, notice any impact on your system at all Right now I'm going to set this for every seven days, so that's once a week, at 12 a.m. And that's all we really need to, to set. You don't need to worry about any of these unless, unless those are important to you. And you just click OK. And you can see that the run mode is set to go at every seven days at 12 a.m. Just click Apply. And now that's set and OK. Next, let's take a look at the Kaspersky updates. So we can go back to our home page. Updates are set to automatically update and download and install by default. So there's really nothing you need to do. That's usually, that's a pretty uh, default function for most antivirus software. But if you ever want to manually update, you would just click that button and you can uh, get the most current updates right away. And this just also tells you that your application is up to date. Now let's just do a quick little test to see how well Kaspersky deals with a virus threat. I've got a list of bad URLs here that you definitely don't want to try at home but that I use for testing. I'm just going to take one of these and we'll plug it in and see how Kaspersky handles it. Okay, it was blocked right away by Kaspersky it didn't even let me download or access the file or the web page in any way. And you can see that uh, this just gives you some more information. You can click details if you want to learn more about 
the threat that it blocked, but the important part is access was denied, so that's great. So I'm just going to close that. And that's it for our overview of Kaspersky Internet 2012. I'm Josh with PCAntivirusReviews.com. You can check out a full review of Kaspersky Internet Security 2012 on our site, along with reviews of other top antivirus software like Norton and McAfee and many more. You can also compare features, benefits, and prices of these and other antivirus software and internet security suites as well. Thanks for watching.